Hello, Squishy Boy. Are you going to be a crazy horse? Christmas Eve Eve? Christmas yeah. Eve Eve, is that right? I think that's right, yeah. It's the day before Christmas Eve, so Christmas Eve Eve. Yeah. That makes sense in my head. Anyway, hello everyone. <laughs> Welcome back. We've officially made it. The shortest day has been and gone. It happened yesterday. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't really get a chance to savour it because I was at work, but it happened. We have passed the shortest day. Yes. Days get lighter and longer from here. Yes. I'm so happy. Oh, so I'm kind of in the middle of about five different jobs again, as usual, right now. Um, I just pulled a load of parsnips up out of my garden. Ah, check them out. I'm well impressed. I didn't actually think I was going to get any parsnips this year. Um, I thought the rats got them all. My God, those dogs are being so dumb right now. I don't know why they do this. So yeah, I was just rummaging around in the garden, seeing if there was any greenery I could pick for the horses. Um, they seem to have turned their noses up at it a little bit, actually. So yeah, you'll have to excuse the piles of mess everywhere. I'm still working on clearing that out properly for the year. Um, but yeah, I gave them some parsnip tops. Um, to be honest, I wasn't expecting there to be any roots underneath there. I thought I was just going to pull up these tiny little like flea-bitten monstrosities, but they actually look delicious. So I'm very happy about that. But they didn't seem very impressed with the greenery I gave them, so I don't know why I bothered really. We may as well just go back to giving them carrots and apples, um, which I have a huge bag of here. Ta -da! <laughs> so in the winter, um, because obviously they're not really getting any grazing, well, they're getting no grazing at all, I do try to sort of give them like offerings of fresh stuff. So we'll do like fruits and veg. If there's any greenery on the trees or anything in the garden that they can eat, I'll pull stuff out of there. Just so they get something other than dried hay or haylage because it's not the most interesting or varied diet ever. I mean, obviously they get their bucket feeds, but there's nothing really fresh in there. So I do try to make a bit of an effort so we're gonna have some carrot snacks. We did apples yesterday. Oh my goodness, they got in such a mess. This one over here, you blew snot bubbles, didn't you, Blue? You really enjoyed your apples yesterday and you blew snot bubbles with them. <laughs> yeah, you did. I don't know if we should take your rugs off or not. You're clipped, aren't you? So I decided to take everybody else's rugs off and give them a bit of fresh air on their backs today, but they're all in full coat still and he's clipped. So I don't know, it might be a bit too chilly for him. I'm going to give them a good brush later anyway. Anyway, completely random. Don't know what I'm doing today. Don't know where I'm going with this, but let's have some carrot time. <laughs> All right. Yeah, my feed shed is still in here as well, which is not ideal. Um, actually, I did just go in the feed shed and have a good sniff. And um, yeah, the smell's pretty much gone now. So I think I'm going to get this stuff in here moved back into the feed shed this weekend, which will be lovely because this is driving me nuts. Not happy with this. And that big wet patch there is because Mr. Woodster has decided to start spilling his water bucket every night again. Don't know why. Literally not a clue why he's doing it. Um, right, let's let's chuck this out. I expect Nelly's gonna hog this. That's usually what happens when I put this out. Do some of this, bird. Taz wants you back, darling, because there's a big hangry mare coming up behind you. Yeah, I feel like I need to get a couple more of those so everybody can have a go at the same time. Oh, where are you off to, madam? That's a pony in a hurry. You saw the treat bin, didn't you? All right. Oh, girl. Nom, nom, nom. Nom, nom, nom. How do you always ruffle your hood down, you big donut? Oh, there's one apple left. Who's going to get the apple? T oh, do you want one, huh? That was a bit cheeky snatching, wasn't it? Right. Here you go, handsome boy. Oh no, you dropped it, Flo. Is it not as fun as apples? You prefer apples, don't you? Yeah, I know. There's one apple left. Do you like it? I think you like them the most. Um, no, 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 no. That's my bin. That's my bin. And why are you coming in here? You're supposed to be out there. I'm getting mugged. Help. Right, no, no, no. Clue, do you want the apple? You have the apple. Woodster. Oh. 
Good boy. You waited till my back was turned. Go back up. Back up, big man. All right, can we fix this, please? Oh, I don't know. I need to put some stitches in it so we can't ruffle it down. I have to get one that's like two sizes too big so that it's like, well, it's not really two sizes too big. Let me rephrase that. To get one big enough to fit around his neck and shoulders, the head ends up two sizes too big. Um, yeah, which is really quite annoying. All right, can we close that? Sorry, oh, that went well. You gonna pick it up? Yeah, good boy. You have to excuse the filth everywhere. I'm literally in the middle of tidying up. And um, usually I do this before I shut the gate on them in the morning. <laughs> I'm getting mugged from both angles here. Usually I give them their, um, their morning snack time before I put them out there. So everybody has their snacks, everybody has their fuss in, and then I go poo pick while they're stuffing their faces. And um, then I close the gate on them and I don't have to deal with them again. I can muck out the rest of the stables in peace. But I just kind of shooed them out this morning because I was kind of, I don't know, doing other stuff. Day off, you know, you have a day off and the routine just kind of changes. You've ruffled it down again. You big donut. Um, yeah, so they were kind of guilt tripping me, looking at me a minute ago, like, why haven't we had our sweeties yet this morning? So I thought, right, okay. Because look at, look at the face, look at that face. You have mastered guilt tripping, mister. There you go. Nom, nom, nom. All right, we better take some carrots over for Nelly. Oh, no, 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 let me pass. Thank you. Nelly, no, would you like... <laughs> Look at your face, what a disgrace. Would you believe I gave that a bath last week? Honestly. Hey, do you want some carrots? Carrots? Or are you having too much fun with that molasses? <laughs> That's a happy mare right there. There you go. Oh, I'm covered in it, absolutely covered. Do you want some more carrots? Or are you gonna, are you gonna stick with the licket? They're waiting for uh, the room service to return. Nelly, don't put your foot in it. Why would you do that? Oh, you're a handsome devil, aren't you? You're a handsome boy. And you're a fuzzy little Ewok. <laughs> oh, look at them. Look at those little faces. Look at those little faces. And they sweet pea. Oh, you're going to brave it, are you? I, I don't think she's going to share. Look, she's she was starting to pull frownies already then. Right, let's have one more round. No, no, no. Oh, she spotted the bag. No, 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 no. That's my bag. Thank you. All right, we'll have one more round of carrots and that'll have to do for today. Because if you have too many, you're all gonna get the squits, aren't you? There you go. Bye. Right, no, no, these are for the girls. You've had lots. Stumps. Stumpy. You had to park yourself right in the gateway. Taz, did you just steal her carrot? Taz! I saw that, you cheeky boy. Carrot thief, here you go. Right, can we let the others have a go with that now? Can we let the others have a go? Huh? Come on, let's, 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 yeah, thank you. I don't want that all over me. Right, you two come in here. Come on, come back in here. Quickly, because I've got to shut the gate, otherwise she's going to bully you both. Come on. And go. Right, you have a go with that. And I'll shut the dragon out there for a minute. <laughs> I would love to give you a kiss right now, but I don't want molasses all over my face. up at the parsnip greens. What's wrong with my parsnip greens? They're tasty and delicious. I grew them from seeds and you put them in the poo and stood on them. That's just rude. 
Honestly. See, at least these two share. Well, they usually share. Hello. You usually squidge your nose in as well, don't you? <laughs> She's trying to squidge your nose in. Oh, it's all in his beard. <laughs> Go on, get in there, stumps. Get in there, girl. If we turn it around this way, then you can both stick your noses in. Oh no, Woods is just being selfish today, clearly. Is he not sharing? Is he being a big bad bunny? keep them amused for 10 minutes and um, I'll let them have a go and then I'll chuck it in the stable for blue and he can have a licky lick as well and um yeah I'm gonna carry on dealing with my piles of muck and filth that I've got going on out here <laughs> catch up with you guys in a bit well you're giving them a second go are you no I don't want kisses right now you're covered in molasses no no <laughs> I love you woodster but no not today Go wipe that on somebody else, then I'll give you a smooch. What are you doing? What are you doing, bunny boy? You kicking up a fuss because I'm moving the food around. It's not tea time yet. Not even close. Not even close, buddy. And this, this isn't anything interesting. It's salts. It's electrolytes. Oh, do you need some electrolytes in your life, do you? Would you like some in your dinner tonight? Huh? Would you like some in your din-dins? Hmm? Look, let me show you. It's really not that interesting. There's no sweeties in here. Salt. Salts. Hmm? Do you really want some? Huh? You can have some if you want. There you go. <laughs> is, is that what you were hoping for or are you disappointed? I mean, you look happy. Is that good, is it? <laughs> Okay, well, we're going to be putting some salts in everyone's dinner tonight because clearly Blue Rory is telling me he would like some salts in his dinner. That's cool. So, <laughs> oh, I just, I walk past the stable and every time I walk past he pulls his funny faces and I just had to film it. It's just so funny. Can't really do this one handed. Eh. It's kind of on. Um, so yeah, today's getting away from me a little bit actually. I was planning to go riding, but um, it's currently coming up on three o'clock and I still haven't been riding. And now I'm really hungry and I wanna go get something to eat before I do anything else because my tummy is screaming at me right now. But I've got a few jobs done. Um, the yard is kind of still a disaster. Uh, yeah, so I haven't really got stuff out here done, but I got, I got loads more of the muck out there scraped and tied it up. So we're getting there. We've done more than half of it now, which is good. Hello, beautiful. Do you want some salts as well, do you? It's okay, I'll put some in everyone's dinner tonight. I'll put some in everyone's din-dins. So yeah, this is looking much better out here. Um, oh, it's just so minging out there. I think, like, we had some sand put down years ago and it kind of went a little bit silty after that, but I think, I think most of that has kind of like worked its way into the gravel and kind of knitted that together. And I think what all this surface slush is, is like bits of muck from their feet and um, like bits of bedding and stuff like that. And just dirt from leaves that have composted. Are you not going to let me fix it? Like, okay, you can keep it like that. That's cool. He's ruffled his hood down again. Uh, but yeah, it's, it just kind of like builds up and it gets all yucky and then it holds the water. That's the bit that upsets me the most. So if you look like down here where all the mushy stuff is still, it really holds the water. 
but the bits that I've cleared it off of, they're like bone dry now. I have nothing. I have nothing. I have no sweeties. You are such a derp. Can I at least do that? Oh no, just bang it just straight back down. Ugh. Hello, dragon. Need to add that to the list of things to do. Put some stitches in Woodster's hood so they don't ruffle down over his nose. Don't let that dog got hold of them. But anyway, yes, I've done some scraping out there. I've uh, I've got a load of timber treatment on the back of the shelter that's out there as well, because that desperately needed doing. And it's a dry day, so what better day to do it? And I finally got my feed shed put back where it's supposed to be. Well, the contents of the feed shed are finally back where they're supposed to be, I should say. Ta-da! It doesn't smell in here anymore. And it's all nice and clean and everything's back where it's supposed to be. And that makes me happy. And that means that I can now clear out the space in the front of my tack room and put my bench back so that I can do stuff in there. Cause, oh uh, yeah, I, I just opened the logo bags of carrots. <laughs> But yeah, it needs a good sweep in here. It's a bit gross. But yeah, we've got our tank room back, Blueberry. That's good, isn't it? Oh, you're such a handsome boy. I still don't have anything for you and it's not tea time still. Sorry. You gotta wait a couple hours. It's too early. I don't care. No, you can buy all you want. I don't care. It's too early. I was naughty. I went and got pizza. <laughs> Yum. What you doing, Nunu? You were playing with the gate, weren't you? And you can quit having a tantrum at all, mister. Honestly, you are a bunch of children. Children. Children with monkey faces. Oh, well, it's pretty much dark. My camera's pretty good at making up for, uh, for low lighting, but yeah, it's pretty much dark. Oh, can it be spring now, please? I mean, I know I was all excited at the beginning of this vlog because, you know, the winter solstice has been gone and the shortest day has been gone, but like, I always feel like January and February drag like crazy. I feel like there's this, this like excitement because the shortest day is gone, but then you realize that the days are still really depressingly short and dark. <laughs> I feel like that's hitting me today. Like I was all excited this morning because I'm like, yay, days are getting longer, but actually it's still, you know, midwinter and really dark and yeah. Hey, you so sweet. He's all yucky. You're a good boy, aren't you? Well, I'm just about done mucking out. I'll get these guys in in a few minutes. Get that one out before he causes any more mischief in there. Yes, hello that one. Hello. Yeah, so I, forgot, I kind of feel like this was a bit of a something and nothing vlog today. Like, I had every intention of taking you guys out for a ride with me, but yeah, it just didn't happen. I mean, I saw an opportunity. I saw several opportunities. I mean, I saw the opportunity to do some more tidying up on the yard, which I did. And I saw the opportunity to get some timber treatment on because it was dry and it's so mild out here. Oh! You being a mean lady, Nelly. Although I do like to watch him trot sometimes just to make sure he's not lame again. <laughs> that was mean. But that was a very nice trot up you made him do and he appears to still be sound. I'm still paranoid as hell about him and the whole lameness thing we've had going on this year. Like every now and then I look at him and I'm like, is he okay or isn't he? Like, eh. And like when I rode him last, um, he just dropped a few strides, I think where his Malander's was pulling on the back of his knee. He had some like fresh scabs on there. And I was like, oh no, he's lame again. But no, I just watched him trot around there and he's fine. He's perfectly sound. He's absolutely fine. Happy as pie. Um, long may it continue. <laughs> oh, I got really paranoid over it, but I just, fingers crossed, he's good. Fingers crossed you're all good, huh, sausage? Yeah. Right, I better crack on and get the rest of this stuff done before I completely lose the light. 